All right, round four. Let's do this. We are currently two and one. Going first. What would I play on the back of that? It's kind of a little mixed up. Ember Imp going first is kind of cool. Then I'd play like... Protectrix, Terms of Redress, or Gabos and Reap, or Bumpsy and Crump is really good. So we can keep this, and we'll play this, and we'll play this, and we'll end. And so he can play two. He can play two cards. Unless he can kill this, in which case he can play however many cards he wants. He has Untamed Shadows and Brobnar. So, board stuff and bring it back. Steal my stuff and build a board. And it looks like he's going to do that. Relentless Assault. It's a ready and fight with the troll, right? Oh, and loot the bodies? He discarded those? He didn't play Relent. Oh, he wanted to play Loot the Bodies first and then play Relentless Assault and then attack. Sure. Why can't he attack? Ready and fight with a free different friendly creatures one at a time. Uh, it looks like your troll didn't ready off of the uh, Relent. Less card. Strange. Why would it not? Let's see. Play. Ready and fight with up to three different friendly creatures one at a time. What was the order that he played it in? Plays Troll. Plays Relentless Assault. It's like he played it and it didn't do anything. He had the troll, which was played. Had the troll. Plays Relentless Assault. That was the second card he played. And it's a playability that says ready and fight with it. Yeah, I don't get it. Weird. Um, let's see, what do we want to do against this troll here? Play two Brobnar of our own. Play out that stuff. Gets three cards out of my hand, it doesn't put enough stuff on the board. If I play Bumpsy, it doesn't, it doesn't steal anything or he doesn't lose anything because he doesn't have anything. If I play Crump, um, is it Reaps, I guess? I don't know. Play Sanctum first so that I can play this, which is uh, Binding Light, and then I'll stun the Brobnar there. I'll play Protectrix, and then I'll play um, the Terms of Redress, but it doesn't do anything except gain me an Amber. And then I'll draw. Because Terms of Redress is looking for you to capture two, and he had zero. So I'll gain the amber from it on the top, and then do nothing. He has a troll that has taken two damage, and is stunned. I have a Protectrix. And we have a bunch of cards. I'm probably playing this next turn just to get these four creatures out. There's no sort of control thing going on over here. He's used Loot the Bodies and Relentless Soul. Both of those are really powerful cards, it seems. He's picking Shadows. That could be really bad if he just fills the board with, like, um, Steel Effects. And I just have to fill the board harder. Pawn sacrifice? What? 
Wow. And then ghostly hand. Okay. Dis play. Do I want to play that? Well, it did it anyway. Who cares? You didn't have four or more, so who cares? Play on the left. Play this. Oh! Maybe I don't want to play this card. So I'd heal it off of this and I'd put it onto something that doesn't belong to me. Well, I already clicked the button, so. I can put it onto himself. Heal it off there and. Just put it on himself, I guess. Um, play Schuler. Play Gabos. End turn. Fill the hand back up. We've got two. We have four. God, it's so small. I wish I could make it bigger, but I can't make it bigger without all the cards overlapping. And you used to be able to move these pieces around. Like you could pick up this little main face thing and move it over here, and you could like move your cards over there. I was trying to find a good layout to where I could, you know, get a good shot of this and zoom in, but I didn't really find anything that that worked out before they locked all of these. Lost in the woods, so he's gonna send two things into my deck, probably Charette for the three amber for him. And what? Maybe Guardian Demon? Seems good. It's a good turn. Yep. Oh, Gabos. He sends Gabos. Okay. Regrowth to pull that back into his hand. No, to pull Troll. Scout. That's a cool looking card. Okay, just to gain the amber, sure. Full moon and just to gain the amber and say check. All right. Um, I don't have any steel effects, I don't believe. I can play this, but it's not gonna do anything. <laughs> I can make him lose one. And that's something I probably want to do. Otherwise, it's like reap with this and then put the damage, you know, over there. Reap with this. Gain two. Brobnar. Instead, we'll play this to make him go to five. So that's going to make him lose one. We'll play Crump. We'll play... Yeah, this won't blow up any of the board, which is nice. And then we'll play the artifact. And now we have a nice big board with which to either force him to play some control effect or to reap with. It's looking like he's going to gain the first key, though. Looks like I can play Charette next turn because he blows this up or something. Brobnar. Playing the troll. He gains two. Oh, he doesn't. Okay. Hmm. So I actually could conceivably play Charette here, stealing two. Reap, play Truebaru, go to zero, play this, Succubus. Reap. So that's a possibility. The other option is reap, reap, reap to go to five, play Flame Fist, Low Mirror. No, I like the dis option better. So I think we're going to want to put Charette down. Yeah. 
Well, let's see, because protecting that's pretty good. No, it's not. No, it's not. Play on the right. Um, we're gonna fight, maybe? Nah, reap. Where are we gonna put the damage? Put the damage from here. Put it onto something bigger. Reap to get three. Take the damage from here, put it on. I guess like Bumsy is fine. Um, lose three to play big boy. Play on the right, so that can't be attacked. Succubus. Now he's at two, I'm at zero, but I have this board. Oh, no, I don't want to. <laughs> now I got to reap with this guy. There you go. I'm at one, excuse me. All right, cool. Weird turn, but I have a huge board. Does it say ready and use? Ready and fight with a friendly creature. So if he plays Brobnar and just plays a bunch of Brobnar stuff, he could ready and fight with one of them. Which is good for him. It's good for him. War song, okay. That's pretty good. He's gaining one each time one of his creature fights. And he's going to fight with Troll because it's free or healed. And then he can play some other stuff, I guess. He's got five in hand. It's getting late. My voice, my voice is going away. So he could fight anything he wants except Charette and Succubus. See if he fights True Baru. That would give me a free key. <laughs> I don't think he's going to do that. He kills Bumpsy. Gotta do it again. Ready and fight. Troll. Fights Protectrix. Okay. Gains another one. Coward's End. Oh. Nice. A free key. I get a free key. Sweet. One key down. Alright. And then we're going to... I think we named... Well, we could play... Hmm. So those two are pretty good together. Um, he cowards ended, so he's not going to draw as nearly as many cards. This also captures two total. But I play four cards, and I get two things on the field. I get two things on the field this way, and I capture two. Or he just loses two. Let's run Sanctum out there. Play this. No, not that one first. <laughs> Play this on the right. Now capture. Now play that. And end. So he doesn't forge a key. And I have two of these guys. Should have played. <laughs> should have played Brobnar. Draw the Brobnar cards. That's okay. If he gets two more, then I can play Brobnar and steal two more, or make him lose two more. He's not played a lot of shadows yet, so we can expect shadows to come up soon. He's played one, two, three, four, four, five. Excuse me. No, one, two, three, four. For Untamed, he's played two Shadows. He's played a bunch. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Brobnar. So here comes the Shadows. I don't have a board clear. Ooh, Speed Sigil. That's a fun card. Hmm. Elusive and Skirmish. He reaps with that. Goes to eight. Reaps with that. Goes to nine. Plays Nerve Blast. Steals. And where does he want to deal the damage for Nerve Blast? So I have zero. Let me just popped one of the shields, yeah. 
Okay, so he's at nine. I could make him lose two to go to seven. That's all I can really do. So he forges a key no matter what next turn. Elusive and skirmish. That card is good. But it's one. Robnar again. Put two from the common pool on this. Play. Play. On the right, because it's going to do a lot of fighting. Play on the right. Play on the right. So he's down to seven, so we'll forge a key and have one, which is where I am. Uh, no. Why did this come in? Ready. What? Hmm. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, because it's the first thing, okay, yeah, totally, totally, okay. Uh, and then, yeah, I guess this will fight, and we'll kill that, and we'll gain two, and then we'll end. Cool. Silly me. Speed Sigil applies to both players. So I need to think about that on my next turn. Anger. Raiding Knight means he'll come into play ready. This blows that up. It's nice. Way of the Bear. Nocturnal Maneuver. Exhaust. So I'm probably going to want to... Yeah. I'm probably going to want to just Vamos Lightbringer play this, play that. Vamos comes in first and uh, is ready. And then I can hit him. The other option is to anger. Hmm. That's an interesting decision. So fight. And then fight to get the buff and then reap. So gain one, kill his guy. But then I'm only using one card, so it's probably better to do Sanctum. Sanctum. Play on the left. Reap. Yeah. Play on the right. What do I want to add plus one armor and taunt to? Bulwark. Protectrix, because it's so hard to kill now. Now, let's put it on that. Play, put it here. And then, I think that's all we can do. So we've got five, he's got two. We both have a key. Chooses shadows. Ah, oh, Smiling Ruth. This card is so cool. If you forge a key this turn, which didn't, um, take control of an enemy flank. Plays <laughs> Silver Tooth, plays Silver Tooth. Reap, reap. That's cool. I like that. 
Pawn sacrifice, Silvertooth goes away, and you get to deal three, three somehow. Or three somewhere and three somewhere else. So pawn sacrifice looks like this. I like pawn sacrifice a lot. It's a cool card. Speed Sigil a lot, too. This is a card I want in a deck that I own, but I don't have it. So he has six currently. Do we have any way to steal? Hmm. Any way to steal? No. No way to steal. Okay, so he's going to go and forge a key this turn, which is a bummer. I've got three and f three. No, I've got four and three, excuse me. We want to kill Smiling Ruth. It's got Elusive, so we're going to have to put two into it. Yeah. Actually, he won't forge a key because um, Iron Obelisk is out. So if I damage this, it's even harder for him to forge a key. Plus, I can do this. And Elusive, the first time this creature is attacked. Mm, I don't think it counts. Or it does count. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll name Brobnar. I'll play this on the right. Um, I will... I think I first attack... Do I? Maybe I attack with this first. So I want this to get a buff too, don't I? Which is better? This goes in, doesn't deal any damage, takes one. This goes in, kills that, deals one there. Yes. So we're going to attack here first. Fight. Takes one. Doesn't take one. I guess it doesn't deal damage, whatever. Fight that kills both. Play this. So I don't even have to play that, really. It says ready and fight, yeah, so pointless. Reap. Reap. Do I want to just play this? For the effect? So I'm at seven, he's at six. I've got two injured, which means his keys cost eight. Uh, why the heck not? Cool. So you can ready that creature, and if there's nothing to fight, then you can reap with it, which is awesome. So I'm at nine. It is his turn. Now we've seen him use a couple of more shadows, and shadows worry me a lot because they steal. Um, so I'm not too terribly worried about the shadows coming down right here. It's looking like he's playing Brobnar. So if he wipes the board, kills undamaged creatures, then he would gain one, two, three. No, he's going to... Okay, so Earthshaker is going to not kill anything, I don't think. Yeah, it won't kill anything. Earthshaker is a seven, one, seven a power one that I have in my deck that kills three or less. But it comes in ready. So he can punch something. You know, like this Protectrix, which I haven't made any use of. I have a lot. Oh, he dropped for a second. He's just going to reap. Okay. Champion's Challenge. I don't know this card. Destroy each creature except the most powerful enemy creature. Destroy each friendly creature except the most powerful friendly creature. Ready and fight with your remaining creature. That is an insane card. That's really crazy. That is a powerful, powerful card. My goodness. Hmm. That's really good. Okay. Well, we're going to play Dis. Uh, 
We're going to use Mind Barb to make him discard a card. It's Dust Pixie. That's pretty good. We'll play... We'll play... We'll play... We will... Reap. No, we'll fight, maybe? Let's see. We have four currently. Hmm. If we kill this, he can't do the fight ready fight to kill my stuff which leaves me this up which is I guess okay uh, if I reap with this then I have five one away from the final key forge he's gonna be on two keys with uh, five and I'm not nerfing them anymore yeah tough I think it's probably best to just fight and kill this. That was a sick, sick, powerful card. Because it wasn't even just like, it's a board clear. It was a, it's a board clear, and you board clear again, and you get a creature that sticks. All right, here comes the untamed stuff. Let's see what he does. He's at five. I have a bad feeling we're not going to get out of this one. We'll be two and two. Stun and exhaust a creature. It's really cool because they don't ready at the beginning of your turn. They ready up at the end of your turn. So it's a lot better to play a card like that. Okay. Wow, what did he just do? Plays Vigor, plays Vigor. Okay. Plays Vigor and heals something. So that puts him in range. I don't think I have any way to stop that. Nope. Yeah, I don't have anything I can do. Yeah, that's just super cool. Just throw a couple of disc, player, disc creatures out there. Throw it on the right. Reap. Play there. End. We'll see what I would have drawn. We'll see what I would have drawn. End. GG. That card was crazy, super good.